Well, the ITU returned to Tisvi Varosh for the 13th running of the ITU Triathlon World Cup in the city. A fantastic place for a race and really excited and electrical crowds out around the course. Straight on into the swim then and it was Vanek from Hungary who really gave the homes of crowds something to shout about. Coming out of the swim after the first lap is a clear lead ahead of Vanessa Raw from Great Britain as they try to establish a breakaway heading on towards the bike. Also now is a welcome return for Maxine Sear, the Australian veteran whose brother James was going to race in the men's race later on in the day. So as we turned on towards the swim, it was Vanessa Raw who started to pick up the pace again on the second lap as she tried to get away with Nikki Samuels onto the bike. So Raw let out along with Vanek from Hungary and Sia from Australia and the three of them managed to have a very smooth and clean transition to ensure they got into that opening pack of nine athletes. We see Vanek let out with Nikki Samuels just coming up behind and Vanessa Raw in fourth. The pack of nine then would particularly uh, adapt to riding on these twist tight and twisty roads around the Hungarian city and it was almost a perfect size to establish a getaway. Three New Zealanders in there and a couple of Brits really wanting to stretch their legs and make the most of their advantage. Further back the chase pack were losing time with every lap. Their particularly large numbers of 30 strong weren't particularly suited to the twisty sections as we see here going through the chicane and it really held them up. Whilst at the front, the works of uh, Arena Abasova, Vanessa Raw, and uh, Vicky Holland really stretching themselves at the, at the front to give themselves the best possible advantage heading on towards the run. Kate McElroy in there, we see the New Zealander really having a breakthrough year. She makes a transition from running to triathlon. So in came the leaders, and it was a very quick transition for the likes of Zabo from Hungary, that's not, and Holland from Great Britain. And both of them set about trying to create a little bit of an advantage for themselves early on. Very unique in there to Savara as a second transition area, so the athletes would rack their bikes, then run with their helmets on down to the boxes, put their helmet in the box, and then put on their running shoes to start the 10 kilometer run. Further back, the chase pack had a few problems coming into transition, and it was rather congested, particularly when you have a double transition like they have in Tisavaros. But we had in here Erin Densham, who we can see at the fray front in the yellow helmet, and she was the Beijing Olympian, really looking to make a strong performance following a quite a disappointing year. And she had some electric going through her legs, and she was ready to run fast. Also in there, Yulia Sapanova from the Ukraine, a the European under-23 world champion, who was looking to put a strong performance together in the Hungarian city. Well, back up out the front, and it was McElroy from New Zealand and Abasova from Russia who traded the blows, surging hard, trying to push each other to the absolute limit. McElroy, incidentally, a former world mountain running champion, but now turning to the flat and the triathlon, whilst further behind, Felicity Sheedy Ryan from Australia really making her name for herself, running through with Erin Densham from Australia. The pair of them really working hard as they came through the early leaders, such as Vicky Holland and Zita Zabo. Well, the crowd were eagerly expecting the winners into the, into the finish area, and in came Kelly McElroy to win her first ever ITU Triathlon World Cup. The New Zealander making a successful transition from running to, tri to triathlon, and a great win for her. Irina Abasova from Russia delighted with second place, her first ITU Triathlon World Cup podium. And also the first step onto the podium for Felicity Sheedy Ryan, one of the new up and coming Australian stars we can look forward to seeing in the next few years as we head towards London 2012. Erin Denshin, the more established Australian, finishing in fourth, but just slightly outshone today by her younger compatriot. It was um, obviously everything went pretty well, we had a pretty good swim. Um, we had to chase down the front group girls on the bike, but um, once we got there, we all worked together quite well. I'm run, I think just I need to run fast, 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 and I can take the finish, but I'm so happy because it's my first podium. Okay. Yeah, this year has, has really been fantastic for me. Um, it started off very, very slow with probably the worst, worst one of one of my years, the first half with injuries and stuff. So I was really unsure how I'd go for the European season. I was hoping to get some form by the latter half, but um, yeah, I've been working the swim while I was injured and it's slowly paying off, <laughs> finally. Well, Kate McElroy, no stranger to the top step of the podium, but now making the successful transition from running to triathlon, and we should be seeing a lot more of her, I'm sure, as we head towards a Gold Coast Grand Final.